in determining your mission critical units uh, again the, the first question is what is critical to the business so to address that question what is the operational impact if we lose this particular unit for example uh, the website um, for most businesses the website is not a big deal if it goes down for a bit and again this turns on uh, the uh, recovery time objective uh, it's it's just you know it's a place where we expect people to get information from us however if you are Amazon uh, and your website goes down uh, you are losing in excess of one million dollars per minute in terms of revenue so you know that's a big operational impact it's also a big financial impact and that is another way to address it what um, you know what is the cost if this goes down um, partly the cost in terms of revenue partly the cost in terms of possibly replacing uh, an item uh, the financial cost in terms of alternate services uh, you know do we have a, a hot site uh, do we have um, shared services uh, that we can use as alternatives and you know how much is that going to cost us in order to recover this particular function whatever it may be um, there's also reputational damage and impact and so you know what what is our goodwill worth what is our image worth what is our reputation um, in, in terms of continuing operations, uh, if you, uh, you know, if you're a small uh, business in a uh, field like fast food or something like that, you know, somebody comes to you for a meal, you're closed, they're going to go to a competitor, you know, and, and maybe they'll, you know, you were their favorite and now... They've decided, oh, you know, I, yeah, I like this. That's, you know, that's going to be my go-to from now on. So, you know, what does that work? Um, all kinds of issues around reputational damage. Um, unfortunately, this gets into some really interesting messes, such as um, uh, Citibank. Um, they had... Uh, they got hit. Uh, you know, some attacker uh, came, tried to steal money from them. Um, they did everything right. They minimized the damage. They uh, minimized the loss. Um, and so they decided, okay, you know, we, this was good. You know, our, our plans worked. Our, uh, you know, we, uh, we had an attack. We addressed it properly. We minimized the damage. We did everything right. We can use this, and so they uh, they did. They you know they announced this. You know we got hit. We did every, did everything right. Uh, your money is safe with us. And unfortunately, all anybody heard was we got hit. And so you know they they took a big uh, financial hit in terms of the reputational damage. Um, you have to consider that. Unfortunately, that is, that is the reality. And uh, that, has, that has impacts all across all businesses. Um, because, you know, everybody has taken that lesson to heart. Uh, nobody wanted to admit that they got hit. And Citibank was the first to try and address this as we got hit and we did right and you know we uh you know we're we're safe we're uh secure you can trust us and it it wasn't good so you know I, once again this idea that you can't tell anybody if you get hit 
in any way, um, if you get attacked, means that nobody is providing information about attacks. And it's, it is still extremely hard to find, you know, um, attacks until it's too late. You know, when somebody has had a major attack and, and, uh, either, you know, money or, um, uh, personal records, uh, of individuals and therefore you're taking a privacy hit and, you know, all kinds of things like that. And, and unfortunately, we don't have the information because nobody is willing to say what has happened to them, what they are seeing in terms of attacks. And uh, this hampers us um, in terms of protection and information security, not having the data that we need for uh, knowing the real reality of the threat environment, um, unfortunately. Uh, anyway, uh, what is critical to the business? And, and again, what are the options? Like I said before, you know, don't ask, are you critical? Ask, you know, what do you do if this system goes down? If this part of your office uh, is unavailable? Whatever. And, and see what the options are. If there are no options, then yeah, this is critical. We've got to address it. Uh, again, depending on, on the impact. What is the impact of uh, the loss of this particular system, office, function, whatever it may be. Um, personnel, once again. Uh, you know, uh, what happens if we lose our personnel? Um, and again, with regard to the pandemic... Um, it wasn't necessarily that we lost everybody, although we did lose an awful lot of people. But um, it was more, uh, everybody was in lockdown, everybody was staying away from the office, so how do we address that? And again, what are the options with regard to personnel? Um, so, interesting conflation of uh, a couple of points there. Um, and, and once again, succession planning needs to be a part of this. We need to uh, address those issues. Who is most important and what do we do about uh, their potential loss? Um, you know, it's not always the CEO who's the most important in that regard. <clears throat> So, again, uh, what's critical with regard to the business? And one of the big ones, one of the big ones is communications. When we have a, a regional disaster, you know, the same thing happens all the time. Everybody pulls out their cell phone nowadays and nobody can get through. Um, this has been, this has been interesting. I mean, you know, it used to be, before cell phones became absolutely ubiquitous, that people would, uh, do the same thing with the phone. Now, you know, when everybody picks up the phone, at the same time, an awful lot of people don't get dial tone. The, the phone system is not built to service all subscribers at once. Um, the cell system is even less. Um, you know, there are an awful lot more cell phones than there is for provision of service in the cell phone system. So do not rely on cell phones. Um, interestingly, um, uh, data and particular texting services uh, can be more accessible than the voice uh, connections, but do not rely on them. They, they are still flaky. They're, they're better than the voice and, and can be a sort of a, you know, if you can't get a voice call through, you know, try a text. But um, it's, you know, it's still, you are at the mercy of 
a, an unreliable system and, and that is not the place to be when you're talking about business continuity planning. Have a have some options.